This is a vegan steak. It's one of my favorites. It's made by a company called Meaty, and before I get all of the nut job comments about it being fake or some science experiment, this is made almost entirely out of mushroom root, or mushroom mycelium. The only added ingredients are the flavoring. It's 120 calories, a half gram of fat, zero cholesterol, 240 milligrams of sodium, eight grams of carbohydrates with eight grams of dietary fiber, zero sugars, and 15 grams of protein. Now compare that to a a regular steak about the same size, you're at 271 calories, 19 grams of fat, 78 milligrams of cholesterol, 58 milligrams of sodium unseasoned, zero carbs, zero fiber, and 25 grams of protein. Now one thing about cow steak versus the meaty steak is this one isn't the juiciest or the most tender. It's still pretty good, I do like it. I really enjoy it as its own thing, but I wanted to see if I can tenderize this up a bit, well, adding maybe a little bit of juiciness. An old trick that's been around forever is adding baking soda to cheap steaks to tenderize them. If you've ever had the steak strips from like a Chinese restaurant, you most likely have experienced this. I originally saw this test over on Google Foods, so I wanted to do the exact same test here. We're gonna take three steaks, First, we're gonna thaw these steaks. We're gonna to toss them in the refrigerator just to thaw out so that way they thaw out slow and properly. Then I'm gonna cover one of them in kosher salt, making sure to get both sides. I'm then gonna place this into a bowl labeled salt and cover it up. Another completely in baking soda, and then I'm gonna have a third as a control. Now I'm gonna to toss these into the fridge to rest overnight, which is actually plenty of time for today's sponsor. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've been on a whole health and weight loss journey. In the last two years, I've lost around 100 pounds. I'm working out seven days a week now, and I'm training to be a runner. That was not in any of my bingo cards. As I've lost weight, maintaining that and staying energetic has become more and more difficult until I found Lumen. Lumen is the world's first handheld metabolic coach. It's a device that measures your metabolism through your breath. It lets you know if you're burning fat or carbs and gives you tailored guidance to improve your nutrition, workouts, sleep, and even stress management. Like I said, as I lost weight, I started noticing that it was getting harder and harder. My metabolism was out of whack. With Lumen, I was able to see exactly what my body was burning as fuel and when. All you have to do is breathe into your Lumen first thing in the morning and you'll know what's going on with your metabolism. Then Lumen gives you a personalized nutrition plan for that day based on your measurements. You can also breathe into it before and after workouts and meals, so you'll know exactly what's going on in your body in real time. And Lumen will give you tips to keep on top of your health game. I was able to make some adjustments to be able to eat more carbs before I ran to fuel my runs and have more energy throughout, and now I'm running even farther. I just finished my first 10K race in under an hour, and I feel great. It's been a lot of work to make these adjustments, but with the help from Lumen, I'm not guessing anymore. I know exactly what's going on. So to get your free metabolic health score, head over to go.lumen.me slash sauce stash, or just click the link below, and you're also gonna get $100 off Lumen. So just click the link below to get $100 off and start improving your health today. Lumen, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for creating such an incredibly powerful tool. Okay, we're back. Now these have been resting overnight. The salt one feels very similar to the control, but the baking soda one definitely feels really smooth. It's kind of silky feeling. Now I'm gonna give these a quick rinse to remove the excess salt and baking soda, hopefully kind of removing that baking soda taste. I don't want that to stick. And I will say that the baking soda version is absolutely softer. This feels completely different. Now I'm gonna prepare them exactly to Meaty's directions to get the best results. First, they recommend seasoning 30 minutes prior to cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and season them all with a mix of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I'm actually gonna weigh them out to make sure that they all get the exact same amount of seasoning by weight. I'm gonna do about two grams of seasoning overall. It seems like a lot, but I think some of that's gonna cook off. Now I'm just gonna preheat a large cast iron griddle over a medium low heat and add one tablespoon of olive oil for each steak. Now, once the griddle is hot, we're just gonna toss these on. I have the salt on the left, the baking soda in the middle, and the control plain steak on the right. We're gonna flip these every two minutes until the outside is lightly browned. Now, I will say the control steak and the salted steak are both cooking fairly evenly, but the baking soda steak is cooking in a kind of unique brown type of look going on. And it's also uh, inflating a little bit. It's almost rising. I, I, this is unique, the way that it's cooking. Now, we're gonna cook this to an internal temperature 
temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This should take around seven or eight minutes. Now we're just gonna remove these, let them rest for about two minutes, and I'm gonna say, I think these look amazing. I just gave them a quick cut just to see the inside and just to feel how they cut and the texture for myself, but let's see what Monica has to say. Did we make them juicier, more tender, or did we make them worse? Let's start with the control steak. We're going for taste and texture. Okay. Is really the most important part. We're gonna start with this one. Okay. So how do you think, uh, did, did it this. cut really well? Like, what do you think about oh, that Oh yeah, cut? it cut really, it cut nice actually, pretty easy. And I think it, it looks like steak. Cheers. I mean, I like it. Yeah, no, it tastes really good. It, it's got like a really like mild, like light, like garlic, you know, mild flavor, but I like, I kind of like a mild flavor, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's really, I mean, it's a general steak taste, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Has a good taste, the texture is really good. It mm -hmm. break, cuts really easy, mm -hmm. breaks apart really easy. It's like butter. Yeah, it's, it's really juicy, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. good. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, let's jump into this one. So I'll let you cut, cut the piece off. Oh, that cut really nicely. Maybe even better than that one, even though that right? one cut really well. Super nice, mm -hmm. super smooth with the cut. I mean, like, I mean, really cuts like butter. You could have just cut that with your fork. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely more tender. Okay. Mmm, that's very tender, but yeah. almost too tender. Way too tender. And like mushy. So I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. I had a um, little more high hopes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's crazy. I never expected that from meaty to, to get like that. Yeah. Like I know it it's got, not meaty's fault. It got very mushy. <laughs> it does definitely make it more soft. And actually like really give it another bite because it's like, it's almost like a fatty kind of consistency. What I think of when I think of like a fatty steak or whatever consistency, it's a, is it almost has like like a soft texture like this, but then there is some sort of like even bite to it or snap, yeah. like a little bit of that like that yeah, bite. Yeah, this is very but soft. This doesn't have that, and very, it breaks apart different. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it just kind of completely just mm -hmm. breaks apart. Yeah. I don't know what I would if 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 this is usable for something like for like taco meat oh, or maybe. Mm -hmm. like taco. a shredded meat maybe. Sandwich, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely incredibly soft. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it like a um, like a. I wouldn't like a steak like this. Yeah. And well, this one's not juicy, this one is. Yeah, so juicy, massive difference. If this is like a, a 10 on firm, this is a two on firm. If that's a 10 on juicy and meaty flavor, this is a two on juicy and meaty flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's not the way to go. Let's see about this one. I'm gonna give it a cut, because I... Mm, that was a good cut. It was a yeah. little bit, hold on real quick. Oh, it's about, this actually, this cuts nicer than that. Yeah, that one falls yeah. apart, this one doesn't. Mm -hmm. This one actually cuts very much like a steak. I mean, it really does. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mm, mm. That's good. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and describe that. So it's got a really nice flavor, mm -hmm. very steaky. Yeah. And then it's just really like nice and like firm and tender. So yeah. And I like how it has a little bit of a crisp on the outside. I really like this one. This one's the best. Mm -hmm. It's much more steak like. Mm hmm. This one's the winner. There's more, there's a distinct, mm -hmm. m like, more flavor here. Yeah, definitely. Mm. But just the texture and the way it yeah, feels in your mouth and everything has more of that steak feel. Yeah, the texture is out mm -hmm. of this world. It's nice. Mm hmm. That one's very juicy, too. Yeah, this one's more juicy than this. And this one, I was like, oh, it's nice and juicy. But like this one, it definitely has more juice. Yeah, yeah, too. lots more juice. But this one's still good. The control, the basic way of cooking it is still really good. And, and Meaty even says to make sure you season it about 30 minutes before, which is what I did over here. But this one, it really took that seasoning to a whole other level. Yeah, so, this is really good. Does the baking soda trick work on vegan steaks? I guess not. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, because that is just, it's wild how soft I it is. I don't even want to have any more of it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work. Mm. Yeah, it's so weird. Salting it overnight, it's the easiest thing. But wow, it's good. Yeah. It's really good. There we go. These two. Don't baking soda your meaties. <laughs> mm. 